You're watching America This Morning, America's number one early morning news. Good Thursday morning. Hundreds of Navy and Coast Guard divers are battling murky conditions in the waters off South Korea this morning, searching for survivors of that shipwrecked ferry. This morning, the ship's captain appeared on Korean television with his face covered and saying he is sorry and deeply ashamed. Investigators have been questioning him about the moments before the ferry capsized. Reports have surfaced indicating that he may have veered off the government-recommended route. So far, nine people are dead. Nearly 300, mostly teenagers, are still missing. And a six-year-old girl is one of the lucky survivors rescued from that sinking ship, but her parents and her brother are still among the missing. This morning, she's in a hospital waiting to hear about the fate of her family. Doctors treating her say she has no external injuries. And some of the grieving families are gathering portside near the scene of the shipwreck, anxiously awaiting good news about their loved ones. But many are also furious, screaming at officials that they're not doing enough to save their children. ABC's Jui Cho is with them. On the second day of the ferry accident, rescue efforts are being hampered by poor weather conditions, strong underwater currents, and total lack of organization. Here at the dock of Chindo Island, utter chaos. They're saying, why aren't you doing anything? Why are you here? What are you doing? You're not doing anything for us. This morning, we're learning about heartbreaking text messages between students and their family. One 18-year-old woman writing to her father, Dad, don't worry, I've got a life vest on and we're huddled together. She's still among the missing. Some family members went out to see for themselves this morning the location where students are believed to have been trapped. The only hope is maybe, maybe they are inside, saved by an air pocket. This emergency doctor says the emotional stress for these families is causing dehydration and heart problems. This family was just informed this morning that their son was found dead. The uncle says they haven't been able to see the body yet and he won't give up hope. From all over the country, volunteers are here, including scuba divers and ex-Marines. This diver says the kids could be anyone's child. He is ready to get down there, but the problem is there are no boats to take them. Juhi Cho at Jindo Island, South Korea.